Natural language processing or NLP is uh, concerned with uh, building software applications that can uh, converse and interact with humans in natural languages such as English. My name is Vera Schwartz and I'm an assistant professor in the computer science department. One of the properties of, of natural language is that it's often ambiguous because when we talk to other people we have uh, we try to stay as efficient as possible and not provide information that we assume that the listener already knows. And so we come up with these phrases that are sometimes pretty opaque, uh, but we, st we still manage to understand them. So one such example I came across was baby oil versus olive oil. Olive oil is oil made of olives, but baby oil is oil used for babies, not made of babies. Most of NLP today is based on language models, which are models that have been trained to basically read a very large text collection, such as text from the web or Wikipedia. I work on um, incorporating common sense reasoning in, into NLP. Because it's not explicitly mentioned in human speech or text, you sometimes need to supplement it from um, other resources. And it was um, possible to collect a very large amount of knowledge by crowdsourcing it or asking uh, non-experts to list this kind of knowledge. One of the problems is that um, they also pick up on the biases and the hateful speech uh, texts on the web um, and they learn a lot of facts that we don't actually want our models to reflect. So you might get some gender biases or racial bias and this is important to be aware of because this eventually goes into applications and can actually uh, cause harm or perpetuate these biases.